What's good, YouTube? We back. Like I said, I'm going to do this showcase. The Daniel Bryan. Wait, what is called? The Return of Daniel Bryan. There we go. Let's get this started. I've never had it easy in WWE. I've had injuries. I was released twice, and just when I had scratched and clawed my way to the top, my in-ring career was over. I could have sat at home, satisfied with what I accomplished, but I decided that's not how I wanted my story to end. I wanted to show myself, my family, and anyone who's gone through adversity in life that you need to take on whatever challenges you face and fight for your dreams. Well, we might as well get on the Daniel Bryan bandwagon. All right, let's get it started. So, first match against John Cena, February eighth, two thousand and three. Wow. Oh, it's like three years old. <laughs> I don't know why it took me so long, but let's go. Let's get into this first chapter, I guess, or part one. I don't know. Right after I graduated high school, I moved from Washington down to Texas to train at Shawn Michaels School. It wasn't too long after that that I was signed by WWE. When I first got signed by WWE in 2000, I had no idea really what to expect. Most of the guys on TV had been wrestling for years and years, and at that point I'd only been wrestling for six months. Since I was still really new to all this, I was sent to hold my craft at WWE's developmental territory, which at the time was in Memphis. Luckily, William Regal was a trainer there, and he helped me out a lot. So with the WWE contract and Hall of Fame trainers, Brian Danielson was on the fast track to success, right? No, not quite. I was released in 2001, the first time I was released by WWE. It was really hard, actually, because I really didn't know what to do. William Regal told me this is a chance to learn. This is a chance to go travel the world, find who you are as a wrestler, and find who you are as a person. So I went back to the Indies and touring in Japan. But soon after that, in 2003, Brian Danielson made his triumphant return to WWE. Well, sort of. Brian Danielson, Aberdeen, Washington. I returned for some one-off matches on WWE's weekend shows. Sunday Night Heat and Lost. Look at that! Nice monkey flip! Well, you know this Brian Danielson is a very accomplished young man. We've seen him in the past, and he's very, very good. I didn't have a goal other than it was good exposure on TV. And one of these matches happened to be against a young up-and-comer named John Cena. Surely, this would be my big break, right? Nope. Oh! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! All right, there you go. All right. All right, so check, I can't even speak. Showcase objective checklist. All right, let's get into it. Let's go. With the audio. Oh, I took it off, I forgot. All right. I think it's off, I don't know. What the heck was that? Hold on, we find young John Cena, look at this. We got pants on. When's the last time you seen John Cena with, wait. Let me let me stop. That ain't, that ain't gonna sound right. <laughs> Let's go. So we got form a. I don't. What is that? A limb attack from a standing grapple. Okay. From a standing grapple, though. Let me do that. Can I do it? Say standing. This it? I don't know what the heck is that. 
Limb target attack. You say standing, so. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just stomp him out until you get up. What a rope. Get your hand off the rope. You messing it up. Alright, there we go. Dang. Come on. Yo, what is this? I'm grappling. Oh my goodness. I'm failing. I'm failing. I don't know how to do this. What the heck? What the heck? I ain't trying to do that. Oh, wait. They told me to do something. Oh, that was my signature. Bro. How? No. No, 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 no. Don't do this. A grapple. Oh my goodness. Don't tell me I gotta look this up with I gotta look this up. I don't know how to do this. He's standing. A limb target attack from a standing grapple. Oh my goodness. You know what? That's what we're gonna do. I'll see y'all later, man. I gotta look this up. I ain't finna waste too much time. I'll see y'all later. Hold up. Hate this game, man. Former grapple at the head. Oh, there we go. Jeez, man. All of that happened for me to just get beat up. Come on, man. All right, because I got my finisher equipped already. Come on, get up. Reverse. And let me reverse. I can't reverse anything. Let's go. What's this? Uh, oh, we're going to get the signature. Oh, that's it? Oh wow! From the again, Cena powering Danielson down. Oh, All right. Incredible course track. What is we doing? Let him go. Cena cannot believe that he can't get Danielson's shoulders on the mat. Gonna try it again, and Danielson able to. Oh, That's a strong strike, right? Incredible sequence. Oh man, Cena just took. I thought we just. Oh my goodness. They asking for too much. Can I just win? I thought I did a strong strike. That's a strong strike. I don't know how to do that. Like I said, I don't know the controls of this game yet. I just played. All right, come on. This man needs business. He lands the strike with great accuracy. He's inflicting some serious pain here. From what we've seen and heard tonight. Why he's faced up. This is this is taking too long. Strong strike. Hold. That's what I did. Why he's faced up, right? Or do we gotta be standing? Well, he keep reversing, so we ain't gonna see. I guess I gotta wait till he's up. Because they don't say he's grounded. You gotta be on the ground. That was a strong strike. Okay, that didn't work. I did this the first time. Alright, cover Jones in for the pin right now. Let's go, let's go right now. This, I can't tell what's more outrageous. Cena's recent raps. Iris ripped into the corner. Okay. You're just jealous. Sack. Need you to get Cena's up, pal. Dope style and mad rock. You're Brian Daniels. All right. Do at this point. There we go. Cena across the ring. Oh, Cena gets up a boot just in time. And now John Cena looking to take over. Looking up and put Brian Danielson where he wants him. And here's the cover. 
Cena got him. Cena with the win over Brian Danielson. Match over. Valiant effort by Danielson, but Cena was just too much tonight. A hard-fought victory tonight for Cena. Got to be impressed with Cena tonight. This Brian Danielson guy looks a little nerdy, but apparently he's got a pretty impressive pedigree. Where'd he come from? Cole, Brian Danielson began his trend. Next match. All right. That was nice. Despite I didn't know what the heck all of the dang controls they want me to do. I didn't know how to, like I said, I do not look at the controls for this. Oh, this competitive time. matches on heat and velocity into being signed full time to WWE. But that's not how things turned out. It's like my wife Bree likes to say if anything was easy for me, I wouldn't be Daniel Bryan. But before I could become Daniel Bryan, I was Bryan Danielson. And as Bryan Danielson, I went on quite the run through the Indies. Over the course of seven years, I won my first world championship and had some amazing matches against guys who went on to become major WWE superstars. Guys like Seth Rollins, Cesaro, all sorts of guys all over the place. A lot of hardcore fans even say these were some of the best matches of my career. Personally, I credit these matches and opponents for helping me build the foundation I would later need to make it as a WWE superstar. Fans on the indie scene weren't the only ones who took notice, because in 2010, WWE re-signed me and Daniel Bryan was officially born. My name is Daniel Bryan. I've been wrestling all over the world, and finally, finally, I have an opportunity here in the WWE. Although much like childbirth, as I've heard from my wife, this was also a somewhat painful experience. I came back as part of NXT, which wasn't like the NXT that you know and love today. At the time, NXT was a reality show with rookies and pro mentors. Unfortunately, my pro was The Miz. People will say that you're great, that you're a star, that you're ready for the WWE. Do you think you're ready? Yes. Yes, I do. But one thing you have to learn about the WWE is you have to expect anything. I guess he missed it by beating a little bit of respect into his NXT booking. Believe it or not, we didn't get along very well back then either. I think the most ridiculous thing we had to do in NXT was the obstacle course. Okay, so you're gonna do the monkey bars. Then we go in the ring and juggle. Juggle. Then you're gonna see how fast you can drink soda. Side note, it was actually supposed to be a hot dog eating contest. When they realized I was vegan and they didn't have any vegan hot dogs, they turned it into a soda drinking contest. I didn't know vegans could drink soda. I hadn't drank any soda in years. Think, watching that on TV, a grown man just drinking soda from a cup. That's, That's it. it. Despite that, I did have the tremendous opportunity to show the WWE Universe what I was capable of when I got to face the World Heavyweight Champion, Chris Jericho. I loved watching Chris Jericho from the time I was in high school, the stuff that he did in WCW, being able to go against the World Champion on NXT on the first show. Win, lose, or draw, that elevates you. And I was very thankful for that opportunity. All right. Form up. From the inaugural episode of NXT, the World Heavyweight Champion Chris Jericho taking on the Miz's rookie, Daniel. Get up. I've been looking forward so I got to perform a standing strong. All right. On the horizon, but tonight is a this is Chris Jericho. The NXT rookies. Oh, Daniel Bryan was excited earlier. There we go. What's next? From a running strike. All right. The World Heavyweight Champion. He's going to have to learn to take hits. There we go. If he wants to survive. In the corner. All right. Now right, you're gonna have to get up. Get oh, not like that. Hold on. Oh, wait. There we go. All right. All right. Now this one I'm talking about these easy. All right. Now we just gotta damage them. All right. Perfect. Ain't them other ones. They gonna give you limb attacks and strong attacks. I don't, I don't sit here and study the, the controls. I expect it to be like Lancer, so that's why I don't, oh my goodness. Well, last year's I didn't look at it anyway, so <laughs> that was stupid. Oh my goodness. 
Those dudes gotta damage him, bro. What the heck? Oh no, no, no. no. Has had no, no. Problems tonight. And the main one is standing ringside. I don't miss how to do that. I don't know, Michael, but today, I don't think you could have taken much more of that. Oh my goodness, they reversed. This guy can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. All right, Chris Jericho, I see you. Get up. Alright, he ain't gonna get up. Usually they'll roll out. Alright, let me get in there. One by count out. What the heck? Turn around! I need to stop trying to man. Oh, that was actually working. It's moving a little bit. Ooh. There we go. Alright, what's next? We got Pan now. Former running chuck. Okay. Alright, I can do it right now. We can get up. Oh, I didn't expect him to do that. Oh, come on! Oh my goodness. Could be dangerous for Jericho. Michael, do you think Jericho might become a believer here tonight? I think the WWE All right, all right, stop. Alright, alright, stop. Oh my goodness. What's the uh Finn Bella be doing? That's crazy. I'll be actually struggling on that part. Alright, let me turn this down now. Oh my goodness. This is oh my goodness. I was doing good in the beginning. I was doing some basic uh, objectives. That's taking me a while to do this. Oh heck no. Get up. Get up. Come on. Oh my goodness. What are you talking about, Gaddy? That, that worked? <laughs> I just did a reverse. Let's go. You know, oh, I just did my signature. Alright, cover him. Honestly, we ain't got to do all that. We just got to cover him. him until he up in NXT. There we go. Alright, now what? So on the stand strike. All the WWE pros are Wrong strike. Alright. Get up. There's no way that Jericho's gonna lose to this guy. Yeah, but the way this match is going, it's a real possibility. Jericho, though, needs a breather, and he rolls out of the ring to try to do that. Wise maneuver from a wily veteran. Uh, I'm not sure if Jericho's gonna get much rest time. What's this guy doing? Daniel Bryan! Ooh. Right off the announce desk. Looks like Bryan might have bounced off the announce desk himself. I don't think Miz liked the fact that Brian threw his body in harm's way, and I, I can't say I blame him. What's this guy thinking? Form a springboard inside. He wants no part of the outside. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I know how to do it. Oh, wait. Throw him in the ring. Oh, my goodness. Not like that. I know. I think I know how to do it. Hold up. Oh my goodness! I'm not trying to do that. Throw him in the ring. He wants no part of the outside. No. The ring may not be big enough for what's about to unfold here. There we go. Guys, you're getting ahead of yourself. Oh, oh, oh. Some sort of oh, gotta do that one. Oh boy, this one's over now. Roll into the walls of Jericho. Tap him out, Chris. Ryan's trying to fight it. Rolls through. What a counter by the technician, Dan. Oh, oh, oh my God. God. Kill Hook is in. Jericho's in trouble. Jericho trying. Is he going to tap? Is he going to tap? He may have no choice. He may have made it to the bottom rope. You have got to be impressed, Michael, from what we're seeing from Daniel Bryan. Did Daniel, he win yet, Byron? Daniel Bryan thinks he... Oh, breaker! You can't allow a veteran like Jericho any time to recover. You're right, Corey. That was a rookie move. 
And now he's going to pay for it, Byron. That may, very well may be the case, Michael. This loser's going to lose again. Uh, Lion Tamer. Can Brian hold on? Tap out, nerd. You got your wish, Cole. Daniel Bryan fought valiantly, but just couldn't hang with the champ. Yeah, this time, experience was just too much for Daniel Bryan. And listen, Miz has got to be so disappointed, and I don't blame him. Luck of the draw, Miz got this loser to be his protege, and now Miz a little bit of tough whoa, whoa, love here. Whoa, whoa. Tough love? Give me a break. Tough love. This is ridiculous. Miz is obviously frustrated with his star pupil. Oh, yeah, so you're frustrated, so that's okay. Now you can beat him up? Yeah, start winning some matches, then he won't get beat up anymore. This is ridiculous. What disrespecting? Oh, I'm a champion. Miz has lost his mind. Lying on his back, looking at the lights again. All right, that's it. We're going to end it right there. Oh, man. Yo, why Michael Cole? <laughs> he talking about nerd. Why he calling him a nerd? Oh, man. Michael Cole didn't like Brian. He didn't like Daniel Bryan in the beginning. That's crazy. When he wrestled now, he'd be excited. Well, he don't even call his matches on that. But let me end the video. Let me start talking. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. We'll be back, like I said, next Thursday another video we'll be back for my career actually why, why I look like the men's crown what the heck <laughs> y'all see <laughs> alright but like I said I'll see y'all next Thursday that's it man they, they eat 2k showcase we'll be back on my career that's what I meant to say we'll be back on my career next next Thursday but see y'all then man peace